So at the risk of something really weird happening, it seems that Ty Lu is going to be the Lakers coach. And once you get all the memes and the jokes aside and the LeBron runs everything jokes out of there, production. there are some basketball things to discuss. The biggest thing being, uh, is Ty Lue actually a good coach? But also the idea of, is this the dude that you should really go for? Just somebody that LeBron will respect? Because I think there's an argument to be made that if LeBron is on your team, you don't need as many X's and O's expertise, I guess, on your team, right? Because there's a chance that there's very few plays in the NBA that are better than give the ball to LeBron with a generous amount of spacing. And I'll get into the spacing conversation in a little here, but if that's really what you need, and then a, a few plays here and there, and the one that I remember the most from Ty Lue was the off-ball screens with Kyle Korver and Kevin Love. But if that's really all you maybe need for LeBron James, then perhaps it's more important to have a coach who... LeBron respects and in turn the rest of the team will respect because I mean it's LeBron James I think the team is going to follow his uh his mentality and his energy towards a coach unless it's like Dwayne Wade and Eric Spolster who have been together for a while so that really just might be the most important thing and Ty Lue has not been scared to go at LeBron I mean if you dive into different Luke Walton LeBron things they're not exactly glowing for Luke and their relationship, and I don't know if it was at the David Blatt level, but we've seen what can happen with LeBron and coaches, but Ty Lue is the one guy who could just kind of go at him, right? And I think that's the expectation when you're coaching LeBron is you you need to know what you're doing, but you also need to be ready for him to go back at you, and you also need to accept the fact that sometimes he is going to win whether it's you're going to run the play that he wants to run or whatever. And that doesn't necessarily mean that he's punking the coach or anything, but you don't want that to bleed over into him kind of making you look like a clown and huddles and things like that. And it does seem like Ty Lu was able to manage that pretty well, much more than like David Blatt was. So, you know, we have to remember the Cavs were winning, but they were really weird and the energy was whatever. They fired David Blatt, Ty Lue stepped in, and whatever that thing was, was kind of gone after that. Now, that does not mean that Ty Lue is going to step in and save the Lakers. They still have things to work through. But I guess this is, from a personality standpoint, clicking with LeBron and all that, I guess it works. Now, is it a little frustrating that... It seems there needs to be a type of coach that LeBron will respect. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, maybe it would have been like that with any star player. I mean, a lot of the all-time greats were fortunate enough to have coaches who weren't idiots. And we saw that when LeBron did have a coach that was not an idiot, like Eric Spolstra, he was a pretty model citizen. So I don't know, maybe there's room for that conversation. But anyway, if we look at the X's and O's stuff, so... I don't think Ty Lue is the most imaginative coach in the world. That being said, I think he understands LeBron and spacing kind of works. I have to assume he had some input on the Kyle Korver trade that was made um, for the Cavs whatever year it was. Whenever Cleveland was having trouble, he would always elect to go in the offense, so he would just put as much spacing around LeBron, LeBron as possible. He would have Kevin Love at center. Hell, he even had LeBron at center for one of those finals against the Warriors, and that kind of worked. He was smart enough to recognize when to take Kevin Love off the floor in one of the finals and put Richard Jefferson in the game. He was smart enough to know when to not play Tristan Thompson with LeBron because the spacing was just really bad. So he's done some things. I don't think he's just out there being clueless. Now, the defense was bad for the Cavs the last, I think it was two years or whatever. But, um... You know, he found a defensive game plan for them against the Warriors in that one finals and actually worked. They also had an offensive game plan that worked very well against the Warriors with attacking Steph Curry. Now, to speak on that defense real quick, I don't know if that was LeBron just not caring and the rest of the team not caring, the personnel not being good enough. I think it was a combination of a few of those things. I mean, Tristan Thompson did kind of fall off a cliff 
At one time, he was like kind of the Clint Capella of four years ago, and then he just got really bad. So there's a chance that Ty Lue's got some defensive stuff that he could do to help out the Lakers. Even so, I think that was probably Luke Walton's best trait was his defense. I mean, I think in all the years he coached the Lakers, which I think was only two years, um, their defense was good both years. Now, some of that might have been Lonzo, but I don't think it was all Lonzo. So so I think where I end up on all this with Ty Lue is he's like cool. Do I think he's better than Luke Walton? Not necessarily, to be honest, but maybe he'll just click with LeBron more and maybe that's the most important thing. Now, if we can look at what Ty Lue has done and how that can equate to the Lakers roster and all that, I mean, Ty Lue liked to go to Kevin Love at center for obvious reasons. Um, Clearly, there's no big on this Lakers roster that's as good as Kevin Love. And in terms of spacing the floor, I think the only one who's got potential to do that is Mo Wagner. Unless they want to keep Mike Muscala around, I don't know about that one. Is there a chance that he could go to the LeBron at center lineups, which was a thing they did at least one of those finals against the Warriors? I don't think so. I mean, maybe selectively, but LeBron's like 45 years old, so I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, if Ty Lue just wants to go to the spacing the floor thing, which is what he did a lot with the Cavs, then they might just have to not play with a center, which is something they tried a little bit this year. It didn't go very well. Of course, there's always the chance that we could just get a typical center to play next to LeBron, set screens for him and all that. They'll probably have at least one of those on the roster after they've done all their free agency uh, moves. And, um, I mean, that guy can kind of be like Tristan Thompson. Ty Lue knew how to use him or LeBron knew how to use him, but Ty Lue at least spaced the floor around those guys. I mentioned earlier those Kevin Love, Kyle Korver off-ball screens that would start from the corners, that would freak teams out. In order to do that, you do need the the five out. And again, I don't know if they're really going to have the team for that, unless Mo Wagner is ready to go right now. And uh, I mean, maybe. He did play about half the year, but that could be asking too much of him right now. I'd like to think that Brandon Ingram could do pretty well in this uh, thing because um, his ball handling was looking really good towards the end of the season, or the end of his season, I guess, because he didn't finish all the way through. Hopefully that health thing, it was a blood clot, but they weren't super severe. Hopefully those are good. I think he could benefit pretty okay from the five-out thing if that's what Ty wants to do in terms of... I mean, I'm I'm just going by what it was in Cleveland. I know they had the shooting. And we'd hope that these guys understand now what to do with the roster. So if it ends up looking like that, then I think Brandon Ingram could do well under those circumstances. I think Lonzo could as well. I mean, you're still going to have to face the problem of two of the dudes you need to keep are Lonzo and Ingram, and neither one of them are floor spacers like that. But of course, they can do other things, so... Yeah, now another thing to, to be interested in is the idea of Ty Lu being the one who gets LeBron to play off of the ball a little bit. I mean, I don't really think that's going to happen, but again, Ty lu has been the one guy who has been willing to really yell at LeBron at times, so maybe we could actually see some more LeBron spacing the floor for Ingram and Lonzo because I think that could help them out quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, it is a little difficult to speculate on where this is going to have them be at in terms of their their play style because we don't know the whole roster yet. I mean, they could sign Kyrie and then everything I said is just kind of out the window at that point, you know. They could trade for Anthony Davis still, so yeah. But even so, I think there are some things we can speculate with Ty Lue now being the coach of um, the Lakers and... Hopefully they just uh, do well with the other stuff.